guys, welcome to part two of my haul from yesterday. If you watched yesterday's video, you probably heard me talking about how I met a woman who was closing her booth down and we had a long talk and I ended up purchasing a few things from her. They're items that I wouldn't normally purchase, at least not for live sales. So I'm really curious, um, and of course I'm gonna talk about each item in detail, but let me know if it's something you're interested in seeing in a live sale or, you know, and if it's not, it's something that can definitely go on eBay. But I just kinda wanna mention that at the beginning. I also do wanna say that if you see anything that you're interested in in this video, you can always reach out to me. You can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. If you want to purchase something from the haul, I do that all the time. So, you know, if you don't want to miss out on something, definitely go ahead and, and reach out to me. Okay, so I, I really don't know where to start. There's so many amazing pieces that I picked up yesterday. I think I'm going to start here with this beautiful bowl. This is Sasaki, Japan, and this is a mid-century art glass piece. It is beautiful. It's got the clear glass and then it has cased uh, white glass. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of Fenton Silvercrest, but it's also totally different at the same time. Um, this piece is in excellent shape. I don't see any damage on it. Sasaki Japan was very popular um, in, well, mid-century. It's a very mid-century modern piece um, from the 50s and 60s, but these pieces do go for quite a bit. So if I do offer it in a live sale, it will be higher than you know what I normally charge for art glass. The quality in this is just absolutely beautiful. I hope it's picking up. I love how it's clear translucent here on these sides. It's just a really pretty dish. It's got a great weight to it. Um, you can feel that it's quality glass and I absolutely love it. Okay, next to it is a piece of amethyst glass. Now, I picked up another piece yesterday. I love amethyst glass. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is a pitcher, as you can see. It has a really detailed applied handle here. It is hand blown. There's a pontal mark there. Um, it's got this really beautiful lid, or lip, I should say, uh, going around it. It's just stunning. The colors are amazing. I'm trying to get it a little bit better in the light. There we go. Isn't this beautiful, guys? I love it. I love the handle. So I was really excited about that, too. Next to it is a rooster, and this is a teapot. Um, this, well, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's not something I would normally pick up. I don't know if it's vintage. It's not marked at all, but it's super cute. Um, it's obviously a white ceramic rooster is the inside. It doesn't look like it was ever used. Um, the handle is back there. It's just so cute. So I had to go ahead and pick it up. I am not going to lift it up just because it could cause, well, it could cause an accident. I don't want to break anything and it's not marked. It's just clear on the bottom. But I went ahead and got him because I thought he was super cute. Isn't he cute? I think he's really cute. I like the design and I like that he's white. I think that's uh, really pretty. Kind of goes with this white art glass. Okay, now these are some of the items that I picked up that I wasn't sure any of my viewers would be interested in purchasing. But I did go ahead and get them because I ran comps on some of these and they were pretty good. Okay, so all three of these, these are all different manufacturers, um, but they're these really cool, um, what am I trying to say? They, they, go, they fit over candles. Um, so you have light that comes out of all the different holes. And this one has its original tag. It's this cute little cottage. I got it because the cat here up top is absolutely adorable. It has its original tag. Um, these are called Cobblestone Village. And the point of it is you just put it over a candle and it kind of, you know, it lights up. And I thought that was really cool. I know a lot of, well, everyone's into fairy lamps right now. So I thought this was kind of a, a different alternative. Um, these are all really well made. They're super cute and they're in great shape. Okay, so the next one that I picked up is this house or shop, I should say, as you can see right here. Here is the inside. Now this one is not, um, you know, a anything that you would put a candle in. It's more of a canister. And this is the Halden group made in Japan. I just thought the, it was really cute. And this little, this little shop with this really cute 
roof and the white and blue. I don't know, there was something about it that I thought was adorable, so I went ahead and got that. And then the last one is the, the most desirable one. Um, first of all, this is super cute. It, it's a boutique. It's a shoe boutique. As you see here, there's some shoes in the window. There's a shoe up top. Um, and the windows are open here up top. It's just really, really cute. It has an adorable roof here. Here is the back. They got some flowers in the window. Um, now this is made by, I can't remember her name right now. It's on here somewhere. Let me see. Oh, here it is. This is made by Heather Goldmine. And oh my gosh, I just realized this is vintage because it's 21 years old. How is that even possible, guys? Um, anyway, this is the one um, that I like the most and the most detailed. Just really, really cute. The shoes are adorable. And again, um, this one and the one with the cat on top are for, um, you know, lighting up your house. They're for candles. So I just thought that was really cute. Okay. Next up, I have two kind of interesting um, barware items. These aren't things I would normally pick up, but I picked them up yesterday. Um, the first one is for Amarula, Amarula, there we go, cream, um, the liqueur. And I got it because it's got this really cool elephant on the handle. Obviously, this is a mug. It's not microwavable, so don't do that if you purchase it. Um, anyway, I just thought this was really neat. Um, I mean, the elephant got me. Okay, and then next up is this Cuddy Sark pitcher, which I thought was really cool too. Um, it does have this design on it. I do not know how old this is. I don't believe it says. It does not say here. But I went ahead and got it because I thought it was cool. And I do know that there are some uh, people that are in the vintage community on YouTube that collect barware. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. So I got those two pieces. Then I picked up this. Now, this is Ainsley. I'm trying to be really careful. And this is a planter. It is absolutely beautiful. From the little bit of research I did, um, this is a rarer piece. Um, here it is here with the Ainsley. This is Bone China. The pattern is Cottage Garden. It has this really pretty um, floral decor with butterflies. Um, it's the same image on the other side. It does have a little bit of damage, and I bought it knowing that because I thought it would be a beautiful display piece. Sorry about that, guys. That is this bottle. No, it's not. What is dinging? It was this. Okay, guys, you know how we talk about there's something weird about this room? I don't know what's causing that. It stopped. Okay. <laughs> and it started up again really really weird okay so there is this planter and again i bought it. it's bone china i bought it knowing <laughs> there was that little hole right there guys i truly don't know what okay let's see if that makes it stop if it doesn't i'm probably going to freak out okay so really big beautiful planter next to it is another planter and this one is handmade from italy this one is so pretty. It has all this beautiful trim here. Here, oh, I'm sorry, Portugal, not Italy. Um, it has this beautiful floral design, and the hearts are what got me. How cute would this be for a Valentine display or even to have out all year round? I think this is beautiful. Very well made. It is large. Not quite as large as the Ainsley, but it's still large. Okay. Next to it is this adorable hand-carved cat. Um, it, this is a bigger piece. I gotta be really careful with him too. He's a little bit heavy, but look at that face. I just had to. And he has a little scratch he's taken care of. Um, there's a lot of really pretty detail on him. There's no information. So I'm not quite sure what his history is, but I thought he was really cool. And I'm excited to find out a little bit more about him if I can. I really wish there was wish there was an artist signature on it because it's really well done. I mean, just look at his face. Okay. Again, I've got to be careful. Behind it is this really cool hand-painted, very large vase. Um, as you can see, it's this green color and 
I think this is likely Fenton, but I have not confirmed it yet. I've done a little bit of research and it does look like Fenton Coin Dot. What's really special about this picture is that it is hand painted here. It's got um, all these really pretty details on it. This is heavy, so I'm not going to pick it up. Sorry, guys. Well, I can turn it around at least. Um, just beautiful. It's got this ruffle here. I, I love this part here. The hand painting is phenomenal. I did not notice any damage on this. I'm curious to how tall it is. I'm going to go ahead and measure. Okay, guys, I just did a quick measure and it is exactly 11 inches tall and it's about five, excuse me, nine inches wide. So this is a big piece. Um, it's so pretty, guys. I really, really love it. I've been picking up more glass, as you've seen from this video in the last one, and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so speaking of pretty glass, I also picked up this mid-century piece. Now, it does have the optic design, as you can see here. It is not marked. I don't believe this is Empoli. I believe it's <laughs> Empoli-esque. Look at how beautiful the blue is in this piece. It's so, so pretty. There is a little bit of a mark. I think that's it right there. And I cannot tell if it's under, um, you know, inside the glass. I think it is. I don't think it's a surface scratch. I think it's just, you know, part of the uh, firing process maybe. I'm not really sure. But um, I just do want to show you guys that. It does not deter from how beautiful this is. I was a little bit mesmerized by this piece at the antique mall. I, I spent a long time looking at it. And I think it's just really, really pretty. I'm sh not sure if this is a brandy snipper or if this is, I really just don't know. I think that's probably what it is. Um, I like the rim on this too. I think it's just phenomenal. Beautiful, beautiful piece of blue glass. Okay, so speaking of glass, I wanna show you guys these. These are La Roche and they obviously have the Fleur de Lis. They are marked here on the bottom. And I did decide to go ahead and show you guys these. These are French um, because I picked up a set of them because I thought they were amazing. Um, this is really high quality glass. They go from anywhere to 10 to $30 a glass on online. And I got a good deal on them. I don't know if any of you are interested in purchasing anything like this, but if you are, definitely reach out to me. Otherwise, they will definitely be on eBay. Okay, I have to show you this frog. He is so, so cute. This piece also um, can be pretty pricey. Just look at the detail of this frog picture. It's just so cute. Now, this is Sir Latab. And... I don't know exactly how old it is, but isn't it amazing? Look at this frog. There's so much detail on this. Again, not something I would normally pick up, but I decided to go ahead and get him. There's just, I don't know, there's something about him. I had to pick him up. Okay, the next to him, let me figure out where to go. We'll go here. I also picked up this piece of Victoria Ware Ironstone. Unfortunately, they only have this one mug. It's in very, very good shape. Here is the marking here. It's kind of hard to see, but it does say Victoria Ware and Ironstone here on the bottom. Truthfully, I have not seen any damage on this. I, I was really excited to pick it up. I don't know a lot about Ironstone, and I do know there are some reproductions, but I do believe this might be the real deal. If, if any of you know for sure, reach out to me. You can send me a message or comment. Either or, I'm just, I'm a little bit curious about it because I, I really don't know much about Ironstone. Okay, next to him is this amazing Art Glass Dalmatian. He's very heavy. And he's so cute. Look at his face. Look at the ears. Um, he's adorable. Here is the bottom. It is clear on the bottom. Um, this is just so, so cute. Look at that face. And there are a couple of areas, like right here, I do believe that's under the surface as well. Maybe a little bit of a scratch, but it, it's not a big deal. I mean, look at how cute he is. I was so happy when I found him. There's just something about him. He was so stinking cute. Okay, so we've got the Art Class Dalmatian as well. And then next to it 
is this beautiful piece of amberina. Now, I think this might actually be Viking. I think this is the, the cabbage pattern. I want to show you guys the glow on it because it's phenomenal. Um, as you can see in here, the leaves really do kind of light up. The bottom has a great glow to it as well. I have never seen this in person until yesterday, so I thought this was really, really cool. Really nice glow on that. I just love it. Okay, also picked up this very old bottle, and I've got to do some more research on this, but this is Lydia Pinkham Medicine, and this item I got from the person that was closing her booth, and she said um, it was valuable, so... I will have to do a little bit more research on it. I mean, she said it was very potent. Um, I can't remember the alcohol proof that she told me it was, but it, it had me laughing. Um, anyway, so there's this really cool bottle I also picked up. Now, next to it is this. I picked up a set of these. These are Odagiri mugs, and these are daffodils. Um, they're just really, really pretty. Um, I think this, it was a set of four, if I remember correctly. It might have been six. But here is the Odagiri Japan marking there on the bottom. I didn't have room to put them all on the table, so I'm just showing you that one. Okay. And then I have, kind of got to go back this way. I have this other piece of Amberina. Now, I, this is cut glass, and I do believe this is an older piece. Could be, possibly be antique. Um, got to do a little bit more research on it, but look at the glow on this, guys. Phenomenal. Just so, so pretty. Um, I love it. It kind of has a starbursty pattern in it, and just look at the glow. It's amazing. Okay. What else do I have to show you? Okay. So, this is the first lady head vase I have found in the wild, and... She does have her sticker here. Now, I can't remember who made her. Oh, I think it's, is it Brines? Brins, that's what it is. Um, sorry, guys, I couldn't remember. But she, she's beautiful, but she does have a couple of flaws. She's got a couple scratches. But I went ahead and got her anyway because it's the first time I found one. And I thought she was pretty, despite the, the few flaws that she has. So, again, if you're interested in her, you can reach out to me. Um, I have a feeling she might be popular at the live sales. I'm not, I'm not really sure. It's the first one I've had to offer, so I don't know. Okay, and then next to her, I have this really beautiful piece of carnival glass. This is a toothpick holder. I want to say this is Imperial. I, I don't know. I didn't look it up. But really, really pretty. Um, this has a really nice iridescence to it, and I just thought it was cool, so I went ahead and picked that up. Next to it, oh my gosh, guys. So, this is a cup and soap holder, and this is Hootie. <laughs> He's from the 70s, um, Japan, and he is so stinking cute. Look at him here on this soap dish. I mean. Oh my God, he's so cute. They came, well, they were in the same booth, but they weren't, you know, sold as a set. But I, I, I had to get them both because, I mean, look at him. He's so cute. Yeah, I keep going back and forth. What's my favorite piece? I don't know. He's definitely up there because he's so cute. Okay, so I did pick up a few brooches at the end. I got two Christmas brooches. This one is really pretty. Um, it's a stocking, as you can see. There are rhinestone uh, gifts on top. I don't think any of these were marked. Um, I think this is an older piece, though. Really, really cute. And I got a Santa, because, well, I had to get Santa. Um, he's enamel, as you can see here. He has some nice details on him as well. No mark on him. Super, super cute. Then I picked up this butterfly brooch, and this brooch is beautiful. It really does have a nice sparkle to it. I think it's picking up. Um, I don't know the age of this. This one was not marked either, but it, it's high quality. You know how you can just kind of feel it? If you look at the rhinestones, um, you can also tell that it's a nice piece. 
that is the back. And then I have one more piece to show you guys. I have this beautiful cloisonne necklace. Um, it is a dragon. It has this really um, pretty tassel on the end. Really pretty. Um, with cloisonne, if it's smooth, you know that it's you know high quality and this is smooth. Beautiful. Had to get it because it was a dragon. Um, you could take it off of this cord if you wanted to. Um, I think the cord is really pretty. I'm trying to show you guys the whole thing. It's too hard. <laughs> but it's got this really pretty rope cord and you know, there's the dragon. Look at how beautiful it is, guys. Absolutely love it. Okay, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. My email and my Instagram information will be at the end of the video. I seriously I would appreciate any comments on whether or not you guys are interested in any of these other items that I, I don't normally sell. Because um, then in the future, it'll help me decide, you know, what to pick up. I hope everyone is having a good Tuesday. Um, I do want to report that Gina will not be having a live sale on Friday. And I will be out of town. So I think I'm going to be doing a pre-recorded sale during that time, uh, just to give you guys a heads up. And I will be doing my live sale tomorrow night at 9.30 Central, 10.30 Eastern, and 7.30 Pacific Time. I hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching. And as usual, please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't subbed to me yet. Um, it really does matter, and I appreciate everyone. I appreciate everyone's support. Just, I love you guys. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.